Hola, it's El Presidente. Welcome back to Tropico. As you can tell by the release schedule that we've already gone through so far this week, this uh, game series is going to be taking up the Monday through Friday slots on the channel for the foreseeable future. I really love playing this game, and I really hope you guys are enjoying them too. Let me know in the comments section. Remember, I read the comments. You can see what's going on here. Um, since Matoltimo got shot at the end of the last episode, we have an order to build some guard towers. So let's go ahead and get those built up. And that's in our military thing, so guard towers. Put one of those here. I'm going to put one of those here, and I'm absolutely going to put one over here by the gold. In fact, I'm probably going to put more than three. So we do have the trade route going to the crown. Uh, nope, don't want to do that. Uh, raids, what do we have going right now? Um, I don't know if we're doing gold smuggle right now, but... I'm just going to keep doing treasure hunts. We get those guard towers up and running. We've got an export planks mission. Um, and I'll probably take... I'll probably extend the mandate on that one. Uh, the rescue mission, that's what I should have done. Derp. And I'll rescue educated folks. We'll cancel that raid. And do we have any construction workers heading out there? I think this is it. Yep. One more person over there, we can build it up real quick. Uh, we have our sugar plantation, which is doing quite well. So good to see you. Oh look, you can see they have kids. Oh, that's cute. Alright, do I have any schooling options? For the little kids. So I have the ability to build an opera house, but it's just really ridiculously expensive. I pretty much have everything unlocked. Oh, except for the blueprint for the fort. Which I'm actually gonna get the fort blueprint. And a fort actually would be perfect down here. Wouldn't work over here. Do I have anything down on this island? Nothing over on the Coconut Island. That one's gonna be fine. I think we. I need a fort over here. And I'm gonna put that fort there. And put that as a low priority building too. All right, here we go. Guard tower is under construction. Oh look, and there's some cows. Oh, feel like I need to get my... Uh... Oh, I can actually do that. I can actually build a second dock. Because this is a fisherman's wharf, if I build a second dock, I think I can actually get... There we go. Actually build up a dock to do more exports. And we'll actually kick up the uh, speed on this here. And guard towers are done. Prepare for invasion, <coughs> my governor. And here they come. I hope... Oh, governor, you look so pretty today. Oh, sorry, I have been bleeding a little since I was shot and my head feels very light. All right. Um, which method will you use to shower happy? But um, you must first please your people to secure this port for independence. Um, average liberty happiness, food happiness, or faith happiness. I'm kind of leaning food. Liberty's already there, so food just has to go up a little bit more. I'm going to just increase that by just a little bit, and we should be fine. Could have gone for liberty and easily knocked it out. I'm gonna switch that over here. Mm. 
Oh, there we go. It is time. We no longer whisper, but rather shout revolution from the rooftops today. We demand, uh, politely, to be free. So we turn to you, my governor, and ask, will you declare independence from the crown? If you think you have enough support, throw off the shackles of servitude and claim your place in the books of history. So we get ten revolutionary immigrants, we proclaim independence. Something does not feel quite right, governor. I have a powerful desire to call you Presidente. All right. So have an average revolutionary's approval. We have, need 60%. We're already at that. And have a percentage of the population supporting the revolutionaries. So for this one, now we want to go for the independent. My governor, the people are filled with... Okay. The people are very happy with their fourth gov... So we even have higher um, support for the revolutionaries. We're almost done with the export planks. This one needs coconuts. No, it needs gold. Good work, Governor. The palm tree population of the... So I'll take the cash for that one. So I'm exporting fish to them. And I'm exporting gold nut as well. Improv theater and they'll, they'll present it the musical. So the rescue, that's going to increase everything here. New need. Excuse me, Ellsport. I need a teensy tiny. We can absolutely do that because we're already doing a trade route with them. Exported, whew. <laughs> I should have gone for a smaller one for that. Whoops. Hmm. Research, yes, let's do some of this stuff. Uh, let's see. I really don't want to research more than that. Uh, I, I guess I can just research all the edicts. I just don't want to use any of them right now. Putting a second dock down just increases the amount of time it's going to take for us to get things done. And I think I'm going to put another Fisherman's Wharf down. Maybe over here if I can get to it. Oh, 5,000 raid points. That's super helpful for us. I think I'm going to rescue. I could jump into these ones, but I really don't know what I'm going to need. I kind of want to put the uh, the heist in here, but that's a lot of time I'm not going to have my uh, Pirate Cove available to me. Hmm. Crocodile. Actually, that's really good over here. Yeah, I'll put that there. Now, for the trade routes that I have active, I think I'm actually going to cancel this one. And just do a much, much smaller one. I'm actually going to do the rum export and just do that one. Because we do have plenty of rum stored up. And this is one that only needs 7,500. So, push him to shot, I could actually put in another one.
and the rescue raid is going on right now. I'm going for educated folks on this one. Alright. Plenty of money coming in. Can I build a road to this? No, cannot build bridges across the sea in the colonial era. Let's try over here. Aha, here we go. Aha, there we go. So we can't have these little small bridges. That's awesome. And I'll put a bunkhouse over here. Pull bunkhouses down. Could put another, could put something else over here, but note there's a lot of people running over here to build the uh, Fisherman's Wharf and the bunkhouses. Yay! They can fish. Now, advanced boat services, that's a helpful one. I'm just going to bribe her to see if we can up their uh, standing a little bit, see if that works. May I just squeeze past, please? There we go, finish the rescue raid. Viva la revolucion! Together, go... I was hoping to increase their standing a little. A percentage of the population supporting revolutionaries. Alright, so I think another newspaper is going to be needed over here. To make that happen, so... I'm going to quick build this guy. Make this... the independent. Rescue raid. We got that one done. And we... do have... Why not? Okay, somebody just took all the gold nut out. I think we need a second coconut harvester. Kind of really. The people have a request. Oh, For thank God. Reasons, it is a secret request. Build another chapel. Sweet. I must say I'm glad to be still. I'm gonna take that mandate extension because I'm planning on stabbing him in the back very soon. Alright, so let's build that chapel up. We can just increase the number of revolutionaries who are backing us. Then we can then we're in good shape. That coconut harvester I was looking for. Here we go. Go ahead and crank that out. Almanac wise, we do have a lot of unemployed citizens, we have a lot of homeless citizens. Yeah, if they want fish. I'll totally say give them fish. Our revolution is as yet only marginal. Okay. So, so I have some homeless folks. Yeah, I do see some shacks that are popping up, so let's address them. Okay. 
Cancel that one. There we go. Excuse me, Elsbord. I need a teensy tiny favor. Orz's telegram receives a sense of is overambitious, egotistical bug. I think that's you. Should do as we instruct without making a blunder. You won't make a blunder, will you? Our last blunderer's ears are still nailed to the pillory. So I'm just gonna have it. The people of Tropico love you almost as much as I do. I'm gonna buy them off. We have such exquisite taste. But we do not understand why we still take orders from the Crown when we have the best possible leader in the world right here. And on a completely unrelated note, I was idly scribbling with my quill and found I inadvertently trapped this Declaration of Independence. Would you actually like to sign it, Governor? Alright, so we have the options of declare independence and pay the Crown, or declare independence and prepare for war. I have a shitload of cash. So, and this is pretty much the end of the scenario right here, so we could just pay it off. Um, let me actually drop down a save state. Let's do that. We'll pay the crown. It is time. We no longer whisper, brother, shout revolution from the rooftops. Demand. We, today we demand politely for free. Oh, yes, we are proclaimed independence. Excellent. I knew you had a good head on your shoulders and would want to keep it there. I'll take this money to the treasury and inform that we've ditched the, another one of our backwaters. There won't be any further trouble. I assure you, honestly, these islands aren't really worth the cost of an invasion. Toodle pit. Heart swells with joy as I greet my fearless leader for the first time. Governor, you did it. Alas, let us savor the sweet taste of freedom. Mmm. Mmm. It, it tastes a bit like coconut. Congratulations, Presidente. We trust you to guide us now. We know that you will be fair and just, and that you will never use your power for your own profit or advantage. Yes, I will. The people sing in the streets that you'll be the fairest Presidente of them all. So you just by doing that, you can knock out the first mission. Total playtime for this one was about an hour, so it gives you a feel of how everything goes with that. Another reason I didn't want to send people off to steal Stonehenge or any of those big wonders, because I knew we were going to be wrapping this one up pretty soon. Ooh, that is a screenshot. The story is told. That is how we met, Presidente. The most important time of my life. I still have the Assassin's Bullets, you know. I keep them close to my heart. Yeah, it's in that pericardial sack. That such a story would be only a minor chapter in somebody's life. But you, most celebrated Presidente, your life has seen adventure enough for a hundred normal people. A thousand! But those are stories for another day. Now old Penultimo is tired. Old Penultimo will sleep and dream of your past glories, my Presidente. God, that is just beautiful. I can't get over how beautiful this game done is. It, Presidente. Victory is ours. I mean, victory is yours. The beginning of a servant ship was the achievement that's in the bottom right corner there. Nobody doubted that you would succeed, Presidente, least of all your loyal Penultimo. But seeing you scale the dizzy heights of this accomplishment is enough to make me swoon. If only this were a game, I would wish for some kind of endless mode that you can go on forever and forever. But alas, this is merely real life. You can keep playing, obviously, in these little sandboxes, but I'm gonna head back to the main menu, and I think I'm just gonna cut this episode a little bit short. Um, finish off this one, and next video we're gonna jump into one of the next missions. Let's actually go into the main menu before I let you go today. Hopefully you're still watching because let's see what missions are available. So we just did this one. We now have Speakeasy. Tells the thrilling crime story of smuggling rum for the broker during times of prohibition and dealing with master criminals. While the allies want El Presidente to set up a system of crime and punishment to catch their public enemy number one, the Kingpin. Uh, mission focus, criminals and Swiss bank money. Custom rules, lower crime safety. Better red than dead. History books may not recall this, but this story is about a time when tropical communists struggled against the global communists for purity of political vision and the creation of the reddest tropico. 
Uh, this takes place during the World War and World Wars and Cold War era and focuses on propaganda. Also have Chocolate Factory. I saw Quillite team play this one. This is a really fun one that I was watching him play. Uh, it started as a race for a golden ticket to Wizard Walkmeister's Chocolate Factory, it turned into the adventure of Tropico's Rise to become a sugary paradise and the world's leading confectionery exporter, providing a chocolate with special ingredients to everyone around the world. This is Cold War and Modern Times, focusing on production chain and export. And the last one, Pirate King. I like this one too. This is another one I saw Quill play. Discover the secret but barren island of El Presidente's most audacious adventure. Aided by young buccaneering bibliophile Rodrigo Rodriguez and Penultimo's pioneering pirate stories, he sets out raiding and looting the seven seas to turn this arid speck of land into a prosperous pirate kingdom. Arr. So let me know um, in the comments section what you want to see um, for the next few videos. I am reading the comments, and if you guys don't uh, leave a comment, I'm going to make the decision myself. It's probably going to be something boring, so tell me what you want to see with this game. Let's explore it together. Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy the videos that come out on my channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.